Hello and welcome to day three, morning three of my 30 days of clean eating. It is Wednesday morning and let me tell you guys, this week is going by so slow. Oh my gosh. So I woke up this morning not feeling great. I couldn't go to sleep last night and I tossed and turned and I knew I had a six o'clock alarm gonna, that was gonna go off and I have things to do. I have a life to live and I don't have time to not be able to sleep at night. So um, I did reset my alarm for seven when I could tell I was not gonna get the sleep I know I need and I gave myself an extra hour and when that alarm went off at seven o'clock, oh, I just felt so frustrated that I'm working so hard to improve my life, to improve my health, to you know, create a life that I want, to create the life that I want. And I will not lie, it feels like there is opposition around every corner of this path. And you know, luckily I'm still really excited about it, but I woke up feeling frustrated and strangely more determined to keep working and to keep persevering and pushing through these hard, frustrating times. And so I spent an hour kind of meditating and thinking on all of this and, and just really feeling that fire to keep going anyway. It feels like there is something working against me. And I think a lot of that is my own lower self, if you will, saying, what the heck? We don't need to get up early. We can sleep in. There's no reason. You don't have to go to work. Your kids are sleeping in. You don't need to be up. Sleep in. It's okay. And while sleeping in once in a while would be okay, I know for me, if I give in to that, I'm not going to feel good. But gosh, it's hard. It's just hard. And so, you know, this this 30 days of clean eating, this first week is tough. It is a detox week, and I feel like I'm kind of ahead of the ahead of the eight ball, ahead of the game a little bit already because I've spent the last six weeks before this working on cutting out obvious refined sugar, treats, desserts, um, candies, soda. I love Coke, and I have abstained from all of those kinds of things for six weeks and you know I was used to having that for every day for most of my life having a treat having too much of a treat and it's been tough but I feel like this first week of this 30 days of clean eating it probably would be harder had I not done those first six weeks but um, I am now focused on the more the less obvious um, sugars in my diet, in processed foods, in other, you know, foods and just eating clean whole foods instead. And while I think it would be harder had I not done those six weeks, it's still hard. I feel like, I just feel like I'm kind of pushing up against a brick wall and trying to change my life and trying to change my health. And man, this is not for the faint of heart. And I, I'm 40. I don't, I've said that in some of my other videos. I turned 40 this year and I just feel like I cannot afford to not do this anymore. And I spent most of my life waiting for this change to be easier first. For something to, to feel like, oh, now I can do this. Guess what? That's not happening. I am trying to right now wrap my head around, this is hard work. This is everyday hard work. This is redialing back in every day, every hour to why is this important to me? And getting super clear on my why. Because if I don't have a good why, I'm not gonna stick to it. And forever, up until the last six weeks, my why wasn't strong enough. And I finally figured out what it is that's most important to me. And my why is that I just wanna feel good. Because I know when I feel good, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I am on fire. I can go and do the things I want to do. I can pursue the life I want to live. I can have the health I want to have. But it's going to come with a ton of work and it's going to come with a ton of opposition. And I just don't think meaningful, genuine, lasting, true change, the kind of change that's going to change my life for the better, it's never ever going to be easy. There's always going to be 
I'm fi I feel like I'm fighting against myself, frankly. Like I'm, there's kind of my lower self and my higher self, and my lower self has kind of always sort of ruled. You know, my higher self has done great in some ways, but my lower self, I think, has been stronger, and it's kind of um, been at the wheel of my life more so than than my my higher self. And I'm trying to strengthen this other part of me, this higher self part of me, and it is not easy. Those ingrained habits that have not supported me in the life that I want and and I've had for most or all of my life they are fighting to stay put to to keep to stay the same to stay in the driver's seat and it is hard hard work but I I cannot afford to not do this work anymore I just can't it is up to me to change my life I know that I have spent so much time waiting again, waiting for it to be easier, waiting for somebody else to give me the magic answer or give me, you know, the magic pill or the magic diet or the magic workout plan or the magic whatever it is. Guess what? That's not happened yet. And it is time for me to take charge, for me to figure that out, for me to do the work. It's hard work and I am wrapping my head around, this is not gonna get easier. It might actually get harder and how bad do I want to change? How bad do I want that healthier lifestyle so that I can go and do all the things I want to do? How bad do I want it? That's the question today, my friends, is how bad do you want it? <sighs> Up until the last couple of months, I didn't want it as bad as I thought I did. It's today it changes. Every day that changes. I have to make, I have to be present and conscious and make deliberate, take deliberate action to make those changes and fight against those old yucky habits that want to stay in the driver's seat of my life. I know I can change this, but I know that I have to do the hard work. I know that I can't numb out with food. I can't numb out with social media. I can't numb out with Netflix and TV. I can't, I can't numb out with sleep. I've done that, I've spent my life doing that and I can no longer afford to do that or I am not gonna have the health I want, I'm not gonna have the energy I want, I'm not gonna be able to have the life that I really dream of if I don't become present, awake, and aware of those things that are holding me back. And today, this morning, man, I just feel so frustrated and I am not gonna let those things rule my life anymore, I can't. They will if I let them. They will if I don't wake up and face them and face the fact that this is a really hard road. It's not easy, but we know, at least I've heard over and over that anything worth having is worth the hard work and it will take the hard work. And I think that it will be more fulfilling if I persevere through this hard stuff, if I push through the opposition that is just constantly there. It's like that brick wall is just, man, it just wants to shut me down and just say, you can't move. You're not going anywhere. You're for sure not going forward. You're welcome to go backward, but you're not going forward. And I refuse to believe that that is my reality. I just know that I have to keep working. I have to keep persevering. I have to keep stopping and going, okay, is this working? Do I need to recalibrate? Do I need to do something differently? You know, I have to ask myself those questions and wake up. It is time to get to work. It is not going to get easier. So that's what's been in my head this morning. I am three days into this challenge and I feel like it's been a couple of weeks at least. I can't believe it is only Wednesday, but I don't care. I am going to keep going. I'm out here ready to get my workout in and I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I just, I want to sit around and mope and feel sorry for myself, but I am not going to do that because that is not going to get me where I want to go. That is going to keep me stuck. So I'm doing my workout anyway. I got out of bed anyway. That's what changing your life for the better requires. Doing those hard things you know you need to do anyway, even when you don't want to.
that's a little more like it. That workout was exactly what I needed to get me out of my funk this morning. And exercising always does that for me. It just does. I know that when I'm in a bad mood, especially when I wake up in a bad mood in the morning and I don't want to work out, working out is for sure the thing I need to do because I feel so much better. That workout got my blood pumping, got my heart rate up, it got me sweaty, it got all my muscles firing, my brain firing on all cylinders, hopefully, at least it feels like it. And I feel like, okay, I can do another day. I can, I got another day in me and I can find, oh, the flies are all of a sudden out. I can find the determination that I need to stick to my guns today and do what I need to do. Now, yesterday, I should talk about how that went. Um, it was a pretty good day. I had my meals all planned out, everything all ready to go. I got my workout in and it came to dinner time. And I guess as a side note, we have three kids. And right now this week, our youngest is the only one who's been home with us. Our oldest graduated high school last year and she has moved away from home. And our next oldest has been visiting grandma for the week. So we've just had our youngest, a son who is 13, home with us this week and one of the things we asked him what did he want to do this week since we kind of had him all to ourselves or he had us all to himself and one of the things he wanted to do was go out to dinner and you know that's something our kids think is really fun is going out to dinner we don't go out to eat real often we don't take the whole family out to eat real often so to him that was exciting and that was one of the things he picked that he wanted to do this week and so we hadn't done that yet and our daughter's coming home today so last night was the last night to um to go out to eat so we splurged we went out to eat we tried to pick somewhere that would be would that would let me um stay on my food plan stay on my clean eating food plan which isn't easy because this week's meals are really pared down and really simple which I guess that's that's an excuse it could be easy so we um, hit a couple of places and they were closed a couple of places that I knew I could have a decent healthy meal at least close to clean eating were closed and so at that point we were all hungry and we just went somewhere anywhere and I didn't eat a healthy dinner it was definitely completely off plan and I really didn't want to do that but I did it and such is life, right? We make goals and we don't always stick to them perfectly. And I definitely wrestled with that decision all night afterwards. Do I feel bad about it? I wanted to feel bad about it. Um, I think that's kind of human nature to want to feel bad about things when we don't stick to our guns the way we want to. But I, I knew I had a decision to make. I can feel bad about it. I can mope about it. I can throw things out the window and really go for it, which is very common for me to do. Um, or I can just say, you know what, it's okay, it's one meal, and I'm back on now. And I can move on and, and not let it get to me. And that is what I decided to do this time. And I also had to look at, I didn't, like the meal was totally off, but I didn't finish the whole meal. I had water instead of soda, which usually I always have soda when we go out to eat. And my French fries, which I love, I only ate half and I didn't fill the, or finish the rest of my meal. So overall, not a good meal, but I had a couple of wins. I didn't totally, completely go after it and just throw all caution to the wind. So that was good and I focused on that because it could have been a lot worse. And then I just knew I had to move on. So today is a new day and I am determined to push through these barriers, push through these limited thoughts and beliefs that are always waiting in the wings or trying to take a front seat in the car of my life, take the driver's seat and, and drive recklessly through my life. And I have let them do that for far too long and it is time for me to take control. And um, one of the songs that I love when I work out that I listen to that ha it has a really awesome um, message or it just has a, a really great line in this song that I love and it seems to come up when I'm really pushing through a hard workout and it always helps me push harder and I wanted to share that line with you and it is from the song Immortal 
by Fallout Boy, and I better read it or I'll probably mess it up, but it says, sometimes the only payoff for having anything is when it's tested again and again every day. So I guess my message today is, it's hard, this is hard, this is not easy. The clean eating stuff isn't easy. The food this week, I'm not really enjoying all that much. It just isn't, it fills me up, but it's not super exciting. Um, but it's just one week and it's more like a detox. So you're not meant to really enjoy it, I don't think. Um, next week is gonna get better. More foods will be added, more flavor, more, it'll be better. But overall, this is not an easy change to make in my life. And it's one I've known I need to make for a long time. And I just didn't feel like I could. I didn't feel like I had the strength. I didn't feel like I had the determination. I didn't feel like I had the motivation, all those things that we all struggle with, right? When we're trying to make healthy changes or any kind of a good change in our life, whether it's for our physical, or any, any part of us. Um, I just had to wrap my head around and it's gonna take some time and maybe it will take the rest of my life to realize that really honest to goodness, true, positive, healthy change is going to be hard. It is not going to be easy and I think figuring that out and knowing it's going to be a fight. I am fighting against myself, two parts of me and I just, I have to accept that and go after it anyway and work hard and really focus on my why. I need to feel good. I want to feel good because there's so much I want to do with my life and I don't want to be sickly. I don't want to be low on energy all the time. I can't live in that brain fog like I've lived most of my life. I can't, I refuse to live like that anymore. So it's gonna be a fight. I have to push through these hard times, pick myself back up when I mess up and when I fall off the wagon and keep at it and keep doing those things that I know are gonna help me feel good and have a healthier life and keep trying to figure out what else can I be doing? Where can I be tweaking this journey? And you know, it's a little bit of improvement every day is really what I'm looking for and picking myself back up when I mess up. So I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you for coming along. If you like this video, if you're interested in seeing how this journey for me goes, these 30 days of clean eating, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you along for the ride. Um, let's share this journey together. Let's motivate each other. I hope you have a great day and I will see you back tomorrow.